Geek Squared. sums up my island trip. Yeah, I'm speechless. God. We just got back from Ireland. Thanks, love. I'm all... I'm... We went to Belfast and then we went to Dublin. <laughs> She's better for me to sat there. We had loads to drink. Ah, uh, listen here, right? to eat. Whenever this woman recommends watching something, going somewhere, doing anything, just listen to it. Read whatever she tells you to read, buy whatever she tells you to buy. Ireland was amazing, guys. Oh, my Lord. I literally, <clears throat> a whole week like that, I had a budget for it Belfast. <laughs> Before we went down to Dublin, I left myself with £20. I could never <laughs> eat. I was like, geek, 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 geek. Oh, I've been saving for a year. We've put out less videos. I'm just going to get on with it now. I'm going to put a little shot of each store uh, for, for, yeah, for each time I show yep. what the hell we got. So let's kick it off with... Belfast. Belfast. Waterstones. Don't be talking too much now. Caught it then, didn't I? Civil War. Trade paperback. I've wanted this for a while. I paid trade. So yeah, it was a good store, wasn't it? Nice, yeah. nice, uh, nice giggeries. This is where it all began. Boom. Love the film. Yeah. Can't wait to read that. Forbidden Planet Belfast. Beeline. Yes. Did it. It's the good. Same, uh, good same. store. Miserable staff behind the counter. Oh, for crying out loud. This is one thing we've <laughs> learned from this trip. Everyone in Belfast mm. is just lovely. Amazing and makes you people. feel welcome, Amazing like family. People. You go into Forbidden Planet and honestly, mm. he is the most grumpy mm. guy. Well, it's, it's all of them. It wasn't no, just he. It was, it was two of them when they went yeah. downstairs. Two levels. <laughs> two levels. Um, yeah, and I... This is just manga and back issues. Yeah, we flashing, flashing the photos up. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of back issue comics. And downstairs is just pops and collectibles. Really. A lot of figures, yeah, collectibles. They yeah. don't have that much in the way of um, new comics. They don't have an extensive collection. No, of it's Cardiff, a small but... new comic wall, wasn't it? Yeah, Car yeah. yeah, Cardiff is bloody yeah, huge. Um, so I am trying to collect all the Saga pops. I went a bit Saga pop crazy, so I picked up Alana. Thirteen no, pounds. They put the sticker right on the front of the box. I know. I'm open. That's just, and she got a bit of a loose bottom as Alana, so I got Alana and I got Marco. Oh, it's the star-crossed lovers. Eee. I don't know why Alana would be thirteen pounds and Marco oh, yeah. would be ten ninety nine. That's so crazy. Sexist. Uh, really happy with those. I wanted to get all the exclusives. I couldn't find many exclusives. I'll show you the ones I got. Later on, and then I made a beeline for the manga wall. Huge oh, wall of so mangas. Many manga there. Buy two, get one free. So I got Your Body is a Wonderland. Dead Man Wonderland, number four. Is that that? That's yes, second one. Tokyo Ghoul, number nine. I'm up to date on those, and I think the Tokyo Ghoul is awesome. Oh, and another Dead Man Wonderland, number five. Cool. That was my mini haul from FP. And we did that the first afternoon that we got there because even though we thought we'd be tired, we were like, Beeline. right, we're in the land. Screw this. Comics. I'm plenty. Let's do it. Then my lovely co host found a really awesome place called Coffee and Heroes. Guess what they sell? Coffee and comics. And comics. Which would. Be the name of my place if I have one there. Yeah, lottery. really, really nice store. They were just moving, so a bit of a story with this one. They had uh, a relatively small store selling coffee and comics and a few figures. Uh, he said, Oh, come with me next door. And they just bought this massive, massive unit, didn't renting. they? Renting. Well, renting, yeah, whatever, purchased. Um, and they were moving on the Friday. This was like on the Tuesday or Wednesday, wasn't it? Yeah. 
so on the first visit, I picked up another bloody saga pop load, Prince Robot, and The Will. Honestly, God, I don't collect pops, but hot damn, I've got a load. You love your saga. Um, I had a really good feeling from this guy. He was a really nice guy, wasn't he? And I... I don't normally ask a lot of comic shop people what I what I need, what they've got, and that type of thing. I don't really tell them. Um, but I felt like I wanted to with this guy. So I wanted Batman number 44, the uh, B cover. I think this is a variant of the B cover, but it now tells the story side by side with Batman. Something old, something new, etc, etc. Yeah, this is a second print of black and white variant. But that was still nice. And he had a saga! So I was after a few first prints. I've only... Oh, look at that. Image first. Yuck. 99p. I picked up number five. First print. Really, really cool. We had a nice shot on it, and then we went back on the Friday, and I'll flash up some of the photos now to show you that he had an opening. It was a year anniversary, wasn't it? He had a cake. He had an artist painting on the floor. A uh, really big store. Shit ton of comics upstairs. Unbelievable. And he even stamped my card. Which he says has got no date. No, it's not so dated on it. on it. So if we go back, it'll be okay. Yes, and it works for Pops as well. So I've already got four, and it works the same for coffee as well. Really nice guy. Yeah. Really cool store. I highly go recommend. Check him out yeah, if you're in Belfast, check out his new Loads premises. Of back issues. Really cool. I'll leave his details down below. So whilst in Coffee and Heroes, we asked, where else can we check out? We had our maps and our itineraries, and he said there was a really cool place just down the road, kind of old school vibe to it, called Atomic Collectibles. Mm -hmm. So we took a little jolly jaunt. Jolly jaunt! Beating our drum all the way! <laughs> Trying to master our accent, but it didn't work. Um, yeah, kind of a small, narrow store. Um, what do you have, love? You had a lot of vinyl. Yeah, Which some vinyl cool. for me, yeah. Bit of everything. You had an easy big yeah. oven at the back. Yeah, just like really old school, like 80s yeah. vibe to it, didn't it? It was really cool. It was a little treasure chest. Little yeah, like, like books and yeah. a few comics and mm. bits and bobs. Talking of books, um, Amanda Eggle, who was a YouTuber who's kind of disappeared a little bit recently, she recommended Sweet Tooth, mm -hmm. and that book just blew us Changed away. Changed our lives. Her favourite book of all time was The Sculptor. By Scott McCloud. RRP. Eighteen ninety-nine. £10, guys. Sealed. Pristine. Perfect. Oh, and I tell you what. I'll turn that off. I would. This book. Amazing. So, so, oh my god. Tina, you, you just need to read it. I'm not saying any more about it. The art, the story. I picked up it. Top Trump's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. £1.50. And that's freaking good, isn't it? These prices were superb, weren't they? And, and, we, and we love our Top Trump's. <laughs> we do. And I got Top Trump's Angel, £1.50. <laughs> How cool is that? So, you know, me and my, my Buffy and other Buffy-related things. I think this trip, like, I've still been about the books. I'm branching out into pops and a few other things. Mainly it's, it's novels, trade paperbacks and comics for me, isn't it? With Tina now, which is really great. She's starting to branch out into purses, scarves, top trumps, the weird little cookie things. So I think between I us... Just sat there. I got this this sort of theory that if I like it, I buy it. But I'm, I'm just... Because I got my subscription with Apis, mm. um, I think, yeah... There's no point in me buying comics and things unless I see something I really want. Yeah. Then I'll buy it. But But it's good. I think we're covering a large spectrum of geekness. <laughs> so yeah, that was it for Atomic Collectibles. Our last stop. We saved the best of Belfast until last. Ah, uh, so the first time you were over there. I met the comic book guys, but not Guys, guy. Guy. And then he was there. Not today, sorry. Not today. Feels oh, like today. It feels like today. I'm so tired. Ah, oh, legend. What a store. Again, you were so right, love. It... You could spend hours it's in amazing. there. It's not the biggest of stores. No. But he's the nicest of guys. And the OCD on this dude, I tell you what, with his labelings. Perfect. Like he says, 
he's never seen it before and if he's a customer he would prefer to go into a store and if someone says oh that's a key issue well why what well, why is it a key issue so he labels on the front of every comic first appearance of so-and-so uh key issue for this reason uh mini series mini run uh you know rare sold out first editions every single thing and i said dude your labeling is on point and he's like oh thanks weird compliment but the thing the <coughs> thing about um Belfast and and Dublin actually, um, the comic book shops are well organised. Mm. Um, they they're all well organised and they all have this like theme where if they've got issues and they'll sell them in a series, yes. which is so good and so beautiful to see. And also, a p right, your phone is going oh, no, mental. Sorry. That was a good segue into my first purchase. Wolverine Origin complete mini series. Off. Look at that complete six part mini series. Wolverine Origin, thirty five quid. Not too bad. I'm you want that for? Oh yeah, for I'm, I'm really trying to build up my Wolverine collection at the minute, and it's going strong. My game is strong. So yeah. So they kind of pack them up, and yeah, and it's all all done for you. It's all done for you. <laughs> Talking of wanting something for ages. Oh, if I cry out loud. Actually, when I was in the the store the last time, um, I actually looked for it and they didn't have it. And then Four this time, part by mini chance, series, and she squealed louder than I did. Look at that, ten pound. Oh, ten pound. All £10. four, all four in there. Amazing. It's actually cheaper than cover price, isn't it? Ten pound. He had Old Man Logan, and if it was the first print, I should have picked it up. Seventy pound for the whole set, mm -hmm. the whole chunk of comics. He had. Oh, it was it killed me. It, the, the dude could have taken five hundred pound of money. He had every new fifty two Batman. I'm talking like that. What was it? Two hundred and twenty quid. Fifty quid or something like that. Are you kidding me, love? That is such a bargain. Do your maths. What's that pair of shoe? And the thing is, when you go, I want you to do it. I don't know. When you go online and you like go to eBay and things for these okay. kind of things, you don't know what you're buying. It's no. like it. It could turn up in any kind of condition, but the beauty is you go into the store and you could see it. It's all there for you. £4.30 an issue. But that's if the price was indeed what we remember it to be. No, it was. It was about two two five. I am sure of it. It had a very, very small manga section. I thought, oh, Christ, I'm not going to get anything there, am I? And I was looking. To be honest, for the first, like, half an hour, I thought, oh, God, he's come all this way. Tina's bigged at this store like crazy. I love this store. I couldn't find anything. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, shit. Yep, 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 yep. I got Attack on Titan number two. Six pounds. Spot on. Don't charge a tenner, 12, 13, 14 quid for a manga. Six pound. Perfect. Wrapped again. Pristine. Everything was pristine. Oh my god, I could have spent so much money the in there. The guy is a ledge. Oh He's my god. super cool, and he has the best hair. His hair, yeah, hair and beard goals. And beard, yes. See all of this. And for me, like, it absolutely kills me when I'm in there, because the one thing that I want, he has in his oh. bloody pop cases, never cracked open. Oh. He has the Rocky Funko. The Holy Grail. But it's good because he's a collector and that's yeah. his. It's like having Tina's collection of pops in her own shop. Yeah. We said if we owned a comic shop, this would exactly be what yeah. it is. With my OCD, yeah. I'd be labelling everything, every key Take issue. It's time to make things look beautiful. Exactly. And I've been speaking with the guy because um, I really enjoyed Off Girl the last time I went there. And he's been keeping issues for me. Um, and sending them, so I managed Ledge. to pick this one up when I was over there, which is great. But I don't think he charged me for it, which is lovely. But I would have happily paid for it because it's a brilliant comic. Yeah, he did say to me that it's actually gaining a bit of speed, so um, mm. maybe it'll be coming to like Forbidden Planet and stuff soon. But that was absolutely great. He gave me a store discount on my stuff as yeah, well. Yeah, he did. Unbelievable. He's such a nice guy. Unbelievable. We we're happy to pay, pay full price and we'll be back again. So oh, yeah. We'll be it's an experience. It was an experience going there. And we've got a lovely photo of the three of us. Selfie as well. Cat's trying to get in now. <laughs> so that was it for Belfast. Amazing city. Beautiful. Beautiful place. Amazing halls, hopefully. Amazing. Amazing. And we'll be back. On to Dublin. And then we went to Dublin. So we arrived. 
got scared shitless over Temple Bar, didn't we? Oh, yes. There were too busy. way too many drinking people there. Too much. And we like the drink. Too much for the oldies. So we <laughs> found some quieter places. Then in the morning, we hit up Sub City Comics. Not the Galway one. Yeah, I just entertained her. We went to all three, didn't we? She was like, Galway! <laughs> <laughs> Got on my arse from my elbow. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So the first there were two store. Sub-city. One yeah. over one side of the bridge, one on the other side of the bridge. So the one on, let's say, our side of the bridge, I found Isola, number one. Ah, shit! Now oh, that's oh, hot, geez. love. Oh, he's off again. Off again. Number yeah. one, first print. Hot as... <laughs> Very nice. <sighs> You're going to see a seam. Lying cat. Lying. Just a plain one, and I'm like, oh, the only difference between this and the exclusive is that he hasn't got blood in his nose, but I have to have them. <laughs> so I'm having them. And then we went over the bridge. Yes. Right. Um, Jolly Jaunt. Jolly Jaunt. Checked it out. Thought, right, okay, they got a Zola number two there. I'll swing back by from some other shops. When they shut it was down. Oh, they had tr- trouble with their shutters. They couldn't get it up. Shut it was. <laughs> and there was a guy. We all have that issue, Liv. And I, no I shame. Said, I said to Craig, oh, let's, um, let's see if we can ask him to go in. There was that it. much gap. I was like, oh, ah, yeah. He's like, oh, damn, we only wanted that one comic. (laughs) And he goes, this one? And I'm like, yeah, that's the one, mate, thank you. And I'm like, for five euros under the the shutter frame. So, yeah, this is Zola number two. And what's that you say? Yes, it is added to my subscription. Gorgeous. Beautiful. It's almost Disney-like. Almost Disney-like. Reminds me a bit of Pocahontas. That was a really weird way of saying that, then. What? Pocahontas. (laughs) The art, stunning. Oh, look. Yeah, you're right. It is very... That could be straight out of Disney, Disney comic. But how long right. must it have taken them to do that? Oh. Mental. So, yeah. Well worth it. Well you, worth you have anything from Subsidy, no? No, I don't. Your bros? No, Subsidy was very much about the comics. Uh, less yeah, about a lot of books. A lot of books. A lot of books. A lot so, of yeah. graphic novels and, and everything. But there were two, and yes, very Sub-city good. Subsidy smashed out. Oh, Ow. Over to Tina. And something Tina likes to do on an itinerary is plan out where all the best stops are. No. Geek stops. Geek stops. It's, it's only <laughs> it's only a Europe and America thing. Uh, you do, don't get them in the UK. Um, so geek stop geek den. Oh, I did this the last time. The den of geek. Game stop. Game. Within certain game stops, think geek. Think geek. That's how it works. You have to think geek on a Tina trip. That's the way it goes. But I managed to pick up a few little bits. So yeah, you did. I got a Super Mario scarf, which I'll model for you. Oh, lovely. Just give me a moment. Or tell our fortunes. Jesus, love. We keep that on for the rest of you now. Watch the kid! So, as you can see, it's very cute. Mm, um, Super Mario Brothers. I got it in the sale, down to one pound ninety eight. Oh, bargain! Bargain! And it's going to be official Nintendo. Not, uh, seal. not for this weather, obviously. Um, and something else I got in GameStop. Oh Jesus! Uh, is this cool Deadpool? Ladies T-shirt. Now have a look at that design and tell me that isn't Tina. Turn it round. Just show him the snippet at the front. Mm. What is he doing to that okay, poor boy? Okay, so poor something unicorn. you need to know about Dublin. It's ridiculously expensive. Oh it's like ten pound to have a drink. When you drink like us, that's never a good thing. You need to get some kind of loan before you go. T- ten pound for like a a pint? You mean? Yeah. Cocktail? You're talking fifteen? Yeah. So, yeah. also, there are a lot of, like, retro-style second-hand clothing stores and vinyl places, which I enjoyed. But the T-shirts over there could be anything up to about 30 euros, 35 euros. And that is too much. A lot of guac. A lot it's of guacamole. A lot. But Holy for this T-shirt, I paid 20 euros. So, yes, yeah, still quite high-end for T-shirts, but... That design, that design has got it all. And it's an official Marvel, so it's not as if you got damn Gildan. Yes, so that's a ladies' tea. That's it for me for GameStop. We did do, we hit up about four, three, four of them, something like that. Um, but again, 
But did you notice even the Game Stops Without Think Geek had literally it was did. half the wall yeah. or half the shop was still geek yeah. and the other half was game. But if we liked things Mental. like Call of Duty, yeah. Harry Potter, which I do, but not so much the memorabilia, um, mm. there, there are so many options for those kind of people to so. definitely check it out. But yes, mm. I think geek and I think did good. Our last comic shop. Shops. 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 Dublin City Comics. Oh. There are two. There was a bank holiday on the Monday. We didn't know we These were going. These geeks did not know. Because Dublin have different bank holidays to the UK. So we had to wait until midday. We had two hours to kill. That's fine. Got there and we thought, oh, okay, it's quite small. Very small, to be honest. Small in this room, probably. Um, a lot of, like, figures in the Loads old old school. Yeah, it's really basically old figures. And, and I'm like... Have you got anywhere else? Because we saw on we saw our photos online and it was yeah. huge. They were like, "Yep, just down the corner." Run around the corner, whoa, 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 whoa. Couple of hundred yards around in. Lot of books. Yeah. Big central island full of books. Loads of frames, comics on the wall, CGC ones, yeah. signed ones, yeah. uh, glass displays for the figures. Beautifully labelled again. Yeah, but they like their organisation over in Ireland, don't they? Everything was priced um, on the back of the issues, but with this one, I wanted to do a bit of bartering, much to Craig's dismay because you he did. likes to just pay no, for whatever. No, not dismay. For. My utter pride. Are you kidding me? I was like, yeah, you can barter if you want. Um, so that is where they are and all the info. We bought a badge, but it's on the backpack. Now. You did buy a badge, yeah. Yeah. Another holy grail item, guys. Saga number seven. First, Parinta Rooney. Nice. Trade price, 25 euros. A little bit steep. The condition is very good. So then Tina arrives. She arrives. She got us down to... 20. 20 euros. Five euros off, so I owed her a coffee. eBay is, is usually a good sort of indication of prices. Yeah. And they were listing them for around £20. But yeah. you don't know what you're going to get on there. And we oh, knew Christ. the condition was good, so Called I was willing to pay for 20 reason. Yeah, I mean, you got to bear in mind, love, this has been out for years and years and years. You've got a few little spine bends. Oh. Sure. But, you know, I'm more than happy with that because some of my issues, like 20 upwards, have got spine bends. So, yeah. oh, very good. two very more good, to Ms. get, Rebels. guys. I need number three. First print, I saw the number one. I was like, and the guy actually said to us oh, that he yeah. um, sold number one just a few weeks ago for 250 quid, which is about that's a quarter a, of what it's that's worth. That's a bargain, that's a bargain. So we were devastated because had we been in there and I offered him 250 quid, we'd have had that sucker. I'm gonna ne I need it though, love. I can't have an image first. Oh, and they seemed like really nice guys as well, so. Really nice. Again, there's a theme going on. Yeah. Very organised, nice stores, and over awesome. They are all lovely. Great peoples. Yes. Very lastly, um, this has been on my watch list for a while. We ended into a random bookstore on the way back. Yes, Marie yeah. Lou. Yeah, she was like, cool. Did you want this? I'm like, Oh my god, yes, I did. Yes, this is a story about Batman uh, in his younger days from an author which we like. Again, because sometimes. it was Dublin, very expensive, 11 euros. Very expensive, 11 <laughs> euros. £10.50, that's yeah. more than cover price. But, you know, it. it's done in it, worth it. So, I got one more shop. Um, I found a, a store in the St. Stephen's uh, shopping centre called Fresh Pop, which was a men's clothing store. Um, but they had some really cool items. Um, I picked up this purse. Look at that. Which is Look absolutely at that shine on It's that. quite big. It's, there's, no, there's no money in there now because I skinned <laughs> yeah, it. Because we've been But yeah, plenty of card spaces. Nice little zipper rule there for my uh, thing. So I'm happy with that. And I picked up this awesome handbag. Look at oh that. Oh my god. <laughs> so cool. Oh, you, look at the zip as well. It's got daddy's little monster on the zip. I don't know if you can see that. So cool. Show the back. That's what it's like, glad. It's amazing. And it's got a long hanger. And I was super happy with that. That's wicked. The price of that was down from uh, £50 down to 20 Bargain. And my Batman purse was down from £30 to £10. So I, that was like proper bargain in the sale section. 
So then, my very last stop then, I went to Forbidden Planet. Um, Forbidden Planet International. Oh my um, god, guys. Dublin. The Forbidden Planet is huge oh my god, it's amazing. It's like three levels. There's so many And things. I picked up this. Ah, <laughs> it's the matching one. Look. It's like a miniature version of the verse. It's, I don't even know why. There's like a little card holder. You can't really see that very well. little card holder bit by there and a little bit for the money. But it matches. But I paid ten ninety nine uh, for this. <laughs> and I paid £10 for this. <laughs> so It's not on link up somewhere. So um, I, am, I am super happy that I managed to find a matching set. Because yeah. I, I love my stuff to match. Um, but that really just goes to show what you would get. It is exactly... I've taken the label off the handbag now. But... You would see is you wear oh my goodness their backpacks in forbidden planet <coughs> were absolutely amazing but they were 70 euros which is basically 70 pounds because there's no difference in the no money. difference pretty much no it was beautiful in that forbidden planet so huge oh how we didn't buy more i have no I idea there was like a pop I think room we'd already done so many stores in belfast and then yeah but it wasn't as if i said oh i'd like that but i can't afford it i, I there was a lot of figures a lot of uh, I didn't trade want paperbacks. To pay £70 for a backpack. No, their prices Even were it was so good, and I'd already bought that handbag for like twenty. I, I just think we're more about like the comic book guys now. These little independent run yeah. stores because pick, pick up little you've gems, got great like... rapport and banter. You don't feel stupid asking someone for mm. have you got this? Oh, I'm after this and series. And a personal touch where you can go in Definitely. and talk to people about what they yeah, recommend, build up relationships, that they and enjoy. There. I stopped yeah. doing this, man. Me and my bloody... What I've done this video is... Mm, and mm. So, to sum up, Ireland <sighs> was amazing. We will be going back. We absolutely loved it. We Superb. ate, we drank, we saw, we conquered. We came home, <laughs> and we are now skinned and need to start all over again. It's skinned and sad. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have anything more to add. It was amazing. Well done to this one with your itineraries. Spot on, perfect, amazing time. If you get the chance to go, you should go. Oh, for Dry God's sake. Well, yeah, just watch this video, make your own itinerary based on this, and get your hell ass Don't over there. Don't forget there are more comic book shops over there to be discovered, but these TBC. two uh, don't like to do anything that's not walking on foot. So, um, yeah, it's, it, there's loads to see, loads to do. You could go and just sit in a pub if you want to read your comics. Good oh times. <laughs> everything you said I'm like I can't help it let's just end it there take it easy Pete have a good week I just clinked that was us from Ireland Geeks Grid we did it we will see you next time take it easy mofos can I play my drum again yeah to, to sign us out quickly what I'll about, just I'll wave shall I play the flute play whichever one you want just, just do it now